Now, the, the, the second thing that we have to think about when we're setting these goals is boundaries, right? And so we have to learn that we have to set boundaries in our lives in order to conquer whatever that goal is. And so every goal is different, and every goal is, is going gonna, is gonna to pretty much ask you to set a different kind of boundary for whatever it is. And so we have to start to learn those, those, to, to set those boundaries because those boundaries are going to keep us in line to where we're going, depending on whatever that goal is, right? And so, and so some of the things that we have to think about when setting these boundaries is that we have to set these boundaries early, right? And so if, you, if you're setting goals in January, then in January, we have to set those boundaries and we, and we have to take action on, on, those, on those boundaries now, right? So right away, don't wait till later on. If, if, if you have, um, if your boundaries are, you know what, I, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to kind of hang out with these people be, because they kind of get me off track a little bit, then start doing that now. Don't say, well, you know what, uh, eh, I'm going to hang out with them in January and maybe in February I'll stop. No, no, you have to do it now. You have to make the decision now that this is the boundary that you're going to that you're going to have for that particular goal. Because again, these boundaries are going to keep you focused. So the, the, the first thing to think about is I want to set them early, right? I want, I, want, I want to set them early. But the second thing that we want to think about is that I want to make sure that, that they're smaller boundaries, right? Don't, don't kind of just go cold turkey on something and just, and just think that it's just going to happen because it's not. The bigger the boundary, the harder it's going to be to kind of keep, right? So set smaller boundaries and let that kind of work to help you conquer these goals. If you, if we, we, sometimes we get a little overzealous and we put too much on ourselves. Well, I'm, I, I'm going to do this and, and the boundaries are going to be that and, and it's, it's way too much. And then what happens is if the boundary is too much, it's going to overwhelm you and then you're going to just stop. And then you become part, of, the, part of, the, the, uh, of that percentage of people that by the end of January, they've already quit. Today is January 20th. Most people have already, whatever they said they were going to do in December, whatever they were talking about on Facebook, yo, I'm going to, uh, you know what, the gym, all that. Well, most of the people, it, it, it's, it's done. Like, it, it's a wrap. It's done. I, I Listen, I go to the gym. Every, I'm in the gym every morning at 4 in the morning. Most people are not about that life. They, they, that's just the truth. And so the, the new people in the gym, they, they come in at 6. That's like, that's like a, I don't know if that's like a, something they all agreed upon, but the new people in the gym come in at, they, 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 they come in at 6. And I know because I'm like, oh, I got to get out of here, right? So I'm going to get my thing, and I, I got to get out of here because, you know, they got new people coming in, and, they think about the equipment. They don't know what they're doing. And, and, and this, is not, this is not, I'm not shaming them. It's just that they're, they're coming in. But again, they're not setting those boundaries that they have to set. And, 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 and they're, they're not holding themselves accountable with an accountability partner, a.k.a. a fitness trainer, right? And so you're saying to yourself, oh, I'm going to go lose this weight or I'm going to go gain this weight or whatever you want to do. But you're not taking the steps to make that happen. You're just saying, well, I'm going to go get that gym membership because it's super cheap right now. I plan to fitness for a dollar or whatever it is, right? And it's going to happen. But it's not going to happen because you don't have the, the, the accountability partner that's going to help hold you, hold you accountable. And then you come to the gym, and then you don't know what you're doing. And again, it's not shaming. It's that you don't know what you're doing because you didn't set the right parameters that you needed to be able to get to conquer those goals, right? And so what happens is <clears throat> in the beginning of the year, I was seeing them. I'm already not seeing them. I, and, and I know. I go I'm there every day. I know like the regulars, I know the people who are new, and I know that they're not coming anymore, right? And so most people are not doing it, and a lot of it is coming from that. It's coming from the fact that you don't have that partner to hold you accountable, and you also don't have those boundaries set that are going to help you get there. You know what? I want to get. I want to start getting up at 5 in the morning so I can be in the gym by 6, right, so I can work out. But what do I have to do now? Well, that means that I may not be able to watch, you know, wrestling until 11, um, you know, I love wrestling. I love raw, but I can't watch it until 11 because now I gotta, I'm going to go to bed late and I can't wake up that early. So I'm going to have to cut that out. I'm going to have to jump on Hulu and watch wrestling the next day, pre-recorded, and it's going to suck because I'm going to be on Instagram on Monday or, and, and everybody's going to be posting about it so now I know everything that happened. And, and, and so it's not going to be new to me, but guess what? That's the boundary you set. My boundary is I'm not going to go to bed any later than 9.30. And you have to stick to it, Right. And, but I also talked about setting small boundaries. So maybe, maybe that might not be the boundary you wanna, that you want to set. Maybe you don't want to miss wrestling. I don't know, right? But the idea here is that, again, these boundaries are going to help you get there. And the fact that it's January 20th and most people already quit on whatever that goal was just means that they're, that, that, that they're not doing the things that they have to do, like the homework that is going to help them kind of conquer these goals.